how is it going out there, everybody? This is Jordan Jones. I'd like to show you how to beat the exhibition matches blindfolded in Super KO Boxing 2. So this guide will teach you how to beat the exhibition matches blindfolded. So first we're going to start with Babyface. So basically what you got to do for Babyface blindfolded is um, he's a pretty straightforward fight. You just got to hold your guard up. All right, hold your guard up, and then when you see him, when you hear the noise of him popping his hands together, you delay slightly, and then you dodge. And that means he's doing his double-fisted attack, and then after dodging, you're just going to um, punch him in the face until, the, until you hear the punch sound of the very last punch. After that, you're just going to guard, just in case if he does the hook, because he can only block the hooks. And then, of course, when he does his straight jabs, you can block or dodge. So, just blocking them works for blindfolded. Excuse me. If you hear this sound, that means hearts are above his head, and that means you have to punch him in the stomach. Why don't you taunt? It's recommended that you taunt whenever you can. And when you hear him crying, that's how you know he's going to go into this mode. And you have to listen for that sound of him pop, pounding his hands together, wait a little bit, and then dodge. And then you have to build up super meter, like this. And then you just counter back, and then just block and counter until he's down. You could use the level 3 super at the beginning of phase 2, but I don't recommend doing it when you're doing blindfolded. So here's what I recommend you doing if you're doing blindfolded. I recommend you do this. When he gets back up, after a combo, after he does any kind of combo, no matter what it is, if you know it's a hook, you'll hear you'll hear the sound if it for a hook. You you should know what the sound is. You should block both his hooks and then block the jab. That means that you would block. After you block all three of those, you would do a level three super punch. If it's the three if it's the, the three jabs, and you just hear the hand pounding together. Block his three jabs. But you should be able to hear the sound. It shouldn't be too hard. After blocking all three, do a level three super punch like this. He did the hooks. And then he did the final jab after that. That means in order to do a level three super punch, you hold the super punch button then to charge it. And as soon as you hear the noise, that's when you, for what, the screen flash, that's when you let go. And now you have to punch him three times in the stomach, three times in the face, twice in the stomach, twice in the face, once in the stomach, five times in the face, taunt him, and then use a super. That's it. Phase three is easy as pie. <laughs> Basically, what you got to do is you got to do this. You got to block. Just block everything. Taunt to increase super whenever possible. Just keep blocking. And then this is the only punch you cannot block. Listen for the noise, wait a little bit, then dodge. Use supers whenever possible. If you get hit, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just keep working at it and keep working at it and you will beat him blindfolded. Just gotta do this. It is possible he can do his spin attack. If he does that, you just want to keep blocking his spin attack. And then once you keep blocking his spin attack, or you can just keep blocking and countering him until he goes down. When he does a spin attack, you just, you, of course you know what to do when he does a spin attack. Keep blocking it. Then after you're done blocking the whole thing, listen for the noise of him raising his hands to cover his green face and then punch him in the stomach for an instant knockdown. Let's go over baby face one more time. I'm going to try to do it with my eyes closed. I'm actually not going to do it with my eyes closed because I find it too difficult to do it with my eyes closed right now because I 
the audio cues are so the audio cues are so quiet. You have to listen carefully for the audio cues. But the strategy is actually simple. But it's just listening to the for the audio cues will be the hardest part about Babyface, because his audio cues are nowhere near as loud as the other opponent's audio cues. If you need to turn the volume up, do that. So this is what the str I'm just gonna show what the strat looks like. I'm not gonna try to close my eyes and do it. <laughs> Cause I'm only making a guide about how to do it blindfolded. And that's how you do it. Let's hope Babyface does a spin attack this time. If he does a spin attack, you just have to keep blocking it. And then as soon as he raises his hands to cover his face, that's when you punch him in the gut for an instant knockdown. If you, mi if you mess up, it's okay. You just need to, to keep doing what you have been doing. So just block this, and then as soon as you're done blocking it, when you when he covers his face, punch him in the stomach. But you have to listen for the audio cue because you won't be able to see while doing blindfolded. That's Babyface. He's a pretty straightforward fight, but the hardest part is just the audio cues. Once you get used to that, it should become pretty easy. Practice these straps with your eyes open first. Now we have 15 pence. 15 pence is a, an incredibly easy fight for blindfolded. This fight's not hard, trust me. All you have to do to start is this. Just taunt him twice to start and then block. And then you just hook punch. And then just block and attack. And then after you block and attack, rather you block twice if he does one combo. If he does a combo where you do not hear anything before you block it, just block, block that, block the next, and then and then after blocking that, wait ever so slightly and then do a dodge for a hook punch. And then after hook, or if you hear him go into the left of the screen, his right, our left, block that punch, dodge is next. That means block that punch, wait ever so slightly, do a left hook punch or a right hook punch, it doesn't matter. And then you just talk twice. That's what you do. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the basics of this fight. If you need to punch some extra times, go for it. Because this is what the fight should look like. So if you need to time punch him some extra times, go for it. Or if you're confident enough to dodge, go for it too. And that's it. And once you have full super meter, you just hook punch him to stun him, like I did. And then you just charge the super by holding the super punch button. And then as soon as you see the white flash, let go. Or if you was doing blindfolded, as soon as you hear the white flash animation, you let go. And he's down for the 10 count. That's it. <laughs> Is that See how easy that was? No skill at all. If you're doing blindfolded, you can just take your time at it if you need to. Don't try to rush. I'll go over it one more time. I'm not going to try to close my eyes and do it because I'm just going to just... I'm just showing you the strat, how you would do it if you was blindfolded. So you can do this. Hit them extra times if you need to. Hit him some extra times if you need to. And then once you have your super meter full, once he's stunned, you just charge the super. And then you let go when you see the white flash, and that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> he's easier than Babyface for blindfolded for sure. But Babyface isn't hard by any means. And that's it. That's 15 pence. That's all you gotta do. It is that simple. We're moving on to the final opponent now. Actually, before we do move on to the final opponent, I want to show one more variation you can do with 15 pence. If you want to do it a little quicker. <laughs> if you want to save a little bit of time. You can actually do this. <laughs> You 
you can actually, as soon as you get to, you can dodge those punches if you want to. And then once you get your super meter full, you can actually do this. I don't know how to explain it, but you can actually, as soon as you do that final combo where you start with a hook punch, you can punch, taunt, punch, taunt, and then once you get your super meter full, just um, charge the super. And then once you see, once you hear the white flash animation, let go. And he's down for the 10 count. That's the quicker variation you can do if you're wanting to be a little bit more optimal. But don't worry about it for blindfolded. If you're a beginner, just use the baby strats. Just use the other strat. <laughs> Now we have one more opponent, fifth, which is CM0083. Here's how to beat him blindfolded. He is a pretty straightforward fight. So basically what you're gonna do to beat him blindfolded is, you're basically just gonna block. And then as soon as you hear the animation of you blocking, you dodge his next punch by dodging right. Or you can just block his next punch, whatever you're more comfortable doing. And as soon as you hear the Lights on his lower fist blink. You're going to do a quick dodge from right to left. And then you're going to, after dodging, you're going to punch him in the stomach. And then taunt. And then you're going to keep punching him in the stomach and taunt. Just know whenever you get him down to uh, three quarters health. Just get stuck in your mind about how many combos you do to get him down three quarters health. Just get a feel for it. There's no, I can't really tell you how I would know it, but you just have to get a feel for it. That's all you have to do. And then you can just taunt twice after doing this quick dodge thing to raise super meter. It's easy. That's all you do. Just block both of them. Quick dodge, and then after the quick dodge, do a level three super punch, and down he goes. If you get hit, that's okay. Excuse me, because it all happen sometimes when blindfolded, because we all make mistakes. So, because sometimes, even I make mistakes, like I already told you, we all make mistakes sometimes. So phase two, you, want, you still want to block, but, and do the same things like you would in phase one, unless all, if you hear the animation of it, all four of his lights blinking. If you hear that, you just have to do slight delay, and then punch him in the stomach. Once you hear that, for all four of his lights blinking, you just have to do slight delay. And then once you hear the slight delay, that means you, you just have to do a slight delay once you hear all four lights blink. And then after that slight delay, you just punch him in the stomach. That's all you do. Very simple. And you'll get an instant knockdown. And then phase three is really simple too. It's a little harder than phases one and two, but still pretty easy. But if he stays down for the count, good. But... Okay, so if you do have level 3 super, that's good. You can use it if you want, if you get the opportunity to use it. After doing that quick dodge technique, whenever you hear the light blink, and then you quick dodge from from right to left, or from left to right, doesn't matter. I do it from right to left, but... Or you can also do this. Um, you, you just block, and then when you hear this, do this, and then you do a level 3 super punch. Just do the same thing like you would in phases one and two. Block uh, unless you hear some kind of audio cue. If you hear the audio cue of the laster blast, you just do a quick dodge from right to left, and then you and then you just do a hook punch. Otherwise, you just block. If he does that straight, straight face jab into a hook combo, you just block both punches. You can do that. And there you go. That's it. That's baby. That's 15. That's the on 0083 blindfolded. He, he's really easy blindfolded. I won't close my eyes and do it, but I'll just go over the strat one more time blindfolded. Showing you what you would do if you was blindfolded. Practice these strats with your eyes open first. 
Taunt whenever you need to, whenever you feel like you need to. I'll, I'll probably still make mistakes here and there. Taunt whenever it's safe to, of course. So, of course, you after you get him to this point, level 3 super him down, like I've already said. Make sure you listen for the audio cues and then do whatever you do when you hear that audio cue. I messed up. Let's retry again. I made a mess. I messed up. Even I can't memorize everything. Even I can't memorize everything for blindfolded. Because blindfolded is more complicated to run than the actual single segment strats. <sighs> I'm messing up. I don't know why I'm messing up. I'm dodging. I should probably show blocking. Excuse me. And there we go. That's it. Just take your time at it. Don't feel like you're rushed. Take your time at it. Mm -hmm. And then phase two and three are pretty easy once you get them down. To the, they're close to what you do with the single segment strat, just with the just with the addition of the blocking and stuff like that. If he does that four light blink right away, you just punch him in the stomach as soon as his lights blink. That's it. It's that simple. And then I've already talked about what you do in phase three, so it's really easy. So you just have to do the same thing. It's okay if you get hit a little bit. It'll happen sometimes. Okay, it's pretty easy to make mistakes when doing blindfolded. And there you go. And that's it. That was a pretty easy guide for me to make about how to beat exhibition mode blindfolded in Super KO Boxing 2. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any questions about any of these strats, please feel free to leave your questions in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer them to the best of my ability. And have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Jordan.